giving you a voice and making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. First updates now, FRC is produced in partnership with the Blue Alliance. Keep up to date on all live and archive first robotics events and team stats at thebluealliance.com. And by viewers like you. We need your help to keep fun at loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Welcome to tonight's episode of Infimidation, where we talk the best robots from the best region in first every week. Tonight, we'll be recapping week six and revealing the top 10 robots from FIM as voted on by you. We will not be previewing MSC just yet, though. For that, you'll have to tune in tomorrow to our special hour long MSC preview featuring myself and all five of my crazy co hosts you've come to know and love throughout this season. So, you'll definitely want to tune in tomorrow at eight for our MSC preview uh, right here on the first updates now Twitch. But uh, tonight, we have recaps to do. So let's get down to business. Reporting for first updates now, I'm PJ. I'm Freddie. And I'm Sky. All right. Before we jump into recaps, Sky, tell us about our giveaway this week. Yeah. So we have yet another giveaway from this show, thanks to our friends at Redfish Robotics of Fun Logo Mugs. So let's bring on producer Tyler to talk a little bit more about these and uh, how you can win. Yep. Real quick on that, if you've been watching, uh, we, I actually remembered now to actually have our uh, crew actually provide a keyword because I keep forgetting that. So instead of Tyler forgot and Tyler remembered, uh, we're going to do Fimstein, right, guys? So Because that's, that's the official fun coined name for it, right? I mean, that's what everybody, like most people in Michigan have been calling it for years. I it's, love it. So it gets, it gets a fun stamp, cert, you know, approval stamp right there. I don't care what Fim says. That's what we're calling it. So, uh, so if you're interested in winning the uh, fun mug, don't forget, make sure you follow and our subscribers get five times luck. Type in Fimstein and we'll do the drawing near the end of the show. All right. Now let's jump in and talk about the first event we are recapping this week. Freddie, what do you have for us? Yes, so first we're going to talk about Livonia. Livonia was a little, uh, it was still, pre still a pretty exciting event. Um, our finalists pit our number one alliance over the Cinderella number six alliance of the uh, Alliance 1 1506 Metal Muscle out of Flint, the Rookie Sensation 7553 Sweet Bots from Wixom, and 5577 Kinematic Wolves from Detroit against our number six alliance, 2832 Livonia Warriors out of Livonia, 5907 CC Shambots out of Novi, and Team 1076 the Pi High Samurai out of Ann Arbor. Uh, in the finals, 1506 made the interesting, to say the least, decision to play defense on the number six alliance, while 70, 7553 and 50, 5577 ran the cargo ship in the scale. Uh, however, this didn't really work out for them as the sixth alliance used the hard to pull off triple offense strategy with 1076 and 2832 scoring on the rockets and 5907 scoring on the cargo ship. Uh, and actually, so the, the, sorry, the sixth alliance actually got the win. A little more March Madness for a little April March Madness, I'd say. Uh, ten teams who played at Livonia qualified for states, so congratulations to those teams, and we'll see you at SVSU this week. Getting into our culture awards, our chairmans went to 1506 Metal Muscle. Our EI went to 5774, my favorite team name, Maximum Overload out of Flint. And our rookie all-star went to, like I said, the rookie sensation, 7553 Sweet Bots. Now I'm going to send it to PJ to talk about what's probably the premier event of the week, Forest Hills. Yeah, Forest Hills ended up being the premier event of the week because there was a lot of teams here that were on their third event. Uh, Forest Hills, since it uh, started last year, it's been the uh, the third event destination for a lot. Uh, at the end of Qualls, Alliance 1 would be captained by Team 910, the Foley Freeze out of Madison Heights, choosing 2337, the Engineers from Grand Blank with their first pick. Both teams on uh, Both teams on their third district event. And they'd round out their alliance with the rookie 7809 Valhalla Nation out of Banger. 
finalists uh, in the finals, they face up against Alliance 3. Captain by 226, the Hammerheads out of Troy. 3357, the Comets out of Grand Rapids. And 904, D-Cubed, out of, also out of Grand Rapids. Um, interesting. I always love to see, you know, 910 and 226 against each other in the finals or play against each other ever. 226's drive coach is actually a 910 alum. He was one of my head scouts. He graduated back in 2016. Um, so it's always great. Uh, last year, his brother was on... Uh, was 910's driver, so they um, played against each other a lot. It was funny. Um, so it's nice to see them play against each other and uh, face off in finals. Um, Alliance 1 would end up taking the win, uh, which breaks. Uh, this is the, So 2337 does come away with, uh, ma- does make it out of semifinals, sorry, uh, for the first time this year. Uh, they were in danger of losing that streak. Um, and when it comes to culture, chairmans would go to 2619, the charge out of Midland. EI would go to 49.67, that one team out of Belmont. And rookie All-Star would go to 7.772, the lucky sevens out of Montrose. Uh, 26.19 is now the owner of the longest chairman streak in Michigan following this win uh, since the three others with the longest streaks all blanked this year. Uh, so uh, congratulations, 26.19, on keeping that streak alive. Uh, 49.67 also with a culture streak of their own. Uh, Going back to their rookie season, which is 2014, uh, they have won a culture award every year. Uh, They've uh, either gotten chairmans or EI in every year, uh, and then the rookie, they got rookie all-star, which is, you know, the closest thing to a rookie culture award. So uh, they're one of the powerhouses in Michigan when it comes to culture, so they're just, they just keep on going. Uh, So we're going to shoot it up north to Sky to talk about Traverse City. All right, so up in TC, as we alluded to last week, there was a little bit of a, of mixing happening last minute as uh, 1684 was added last minute to this event, and this really did change the dynamic a bit. Um, perhaps they wanted more practice, maybe they needed to make some changes to their bot, or maybe they were blue batter hunting, but it took until everyone had four or five matches under their belts for the rankings to finally settle down. They were a little all over the place before that. Um, 1684 managed to get a four ranking point lead on the number two seed uh, and have a sizable lead in cargo points uh, going uh, into the final qualification matches. So that made them uh, have the number one seed locked down. Uh, <clears throat> so um, they captained the number one alliance. So we have 1684, the Camiras from Lapeer, uh, 3688, the Norsemans from Sutton's Bay, and uh, 78. 78- 855 Boneyard from Misik. Uh, the number two alliance was composed of Team 1322 uh, Great from Fenton, uh, 7116 the Luddington Obots from Take a Guess, and 1711 Raptors from TC. Uh, Alims went on without much of a hitch for the number one's alliance, getting into the finals in four matches, with the second seed alliance managing to power through as well. There were some upsets in the semifinals, with the number six alliance beating out the number three and number five taking down number four. But as the finals were concerned, the number two alliance was not quite able to handle the scoring potential of the number one alliance, and the number two alliance fell in two matches to the top seeded alliance by some sizable margins. Uh, Chairman's was taken by Team 5086, the Cadillac Connectors from Take a Guess. Uh, engineering inspiration was 5525, the Alcana Toolcats from Lincoln, and the rookie all star went to 7790, Baywatch Robotics from Harbor Springs. So, what's happening when we shoot back down the state? Well, actually, before before uh, Frank takes Lansing, I do want to give a shout out. I told 1684 I would to Team 78, 80, 7855 Boneyard. Uh, they were their third robot. I, I wish I had a picture. I had it, and then I deleted it by accident. No, it's it's, it's 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 awesome, laundry. and it might yeah. be on the replay, or might yeah. have been on the replay. It's it's um, a it's a laundry basket. Yeah, and it works. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's the it's, it's the, pretty much an adapted every bot from <laughs> last year. Yeah. And other than a little bit of maybe cargo settling in the basket issues, um, it kind of worked surprisingly well. So good on you for finding the simple solution. I know. So I told 1684, I had three people from 1684 message me and were like, make sure, like, we loved them so much. You need to talk about them. So I told them that I would. Yeah. So congratulations to Boneyard for building one of the most simple robots in the world that worked. So now, Freddie, go ahead and go to Lansing. Well, one more thing on that. 
I suppose you could say they cleaned up the competition. Uh, Stop that right now. Yep. (laughs) All right, so kicking the knot over to Lansing. Lansing was, like every event in my eyes, was another exciting event. The finals pit our our second and first alliances, big surprise there, of the Alliance 2 4216 Blue Ops Robotics out of Jackson, 2611 Jacktown Vectors out of Jackson, and 6635 Jackson Falcon Works out of, you guessed it, Jackson, taking up what I like to call the Jackson Alliance, <laughs> against the number one alliance, Team 3707, the Brighton Techno Dogs, out of Brighton, 4776 Scott Spots out of Howell, and 6085 the Green Devil Bots out of Brown City. Despite 4216 and 2611 managing to squeeze on the level three HAB platform together in the finals, the scoring firepower of 3707 and 4776 proved to be just too much for the second alliance. 3707 pulled out their suck level three climber, which might possibly solidify themselves as the best cargo ship specialist in the state and uh, certainly gives them versatility come MSC. We'll cover more on that tomorrow, shameless plug. And uh, seven teams who competed at Lansing also qualified for MSC. Once again, congratulations to those teams. And we'll be seeing you this week here at SVSU. Um, Our chairman's award went to 4776 Scott Spots, which gives them the gold, gold, cling, bling. Congrats there. EI went to... EI went to 3655 Tractor Technicians out of Mason. And our rookie all star went to 7665 GL Gadgets out of Grand Ledge. So that would be Lansing. PJ, tell us about Lake Superior State. Okay, so now we're going farther north to Traverse City for our final uh, UP event of the year. Uh, our, a lot, our, oh, geez. Okay, so our finals actually uh, put. Alliance 1 versus Alliance 7. So this was another, you know, Alliance 1 versus the Cinderella story. Uh, but unlike Livonia, Alliance 1 would stay, hang on for the victory. Uh, Alliance 1 was captured by 6569, the Gladiators, out of Ontanagon. 4391, the Brave Bots, out of Gladstone. And 7240, Ontanagon, according <laughs> to Tyler in my ear. <laughs> I think they were How, they how were do I Kingsford. know that and you don't? Weren't they at Kingsford? Well, maybe they're a UP team That's, though, so they're pretty much yeah. Wisconsin, right? Yeah, exactly. I think they, I think they were at <laughs> Kingsford. So, and then so you would have had to say it. So, and then their final robot was seventy two forty four Huskies Robotics out of Atlanta. Today, I learned that there's a city called Atlanta in Michigan. So that's fun. Uh, our finalists were the as I mentioned with the seventh season alliance, which was forty three ninety two the Deceivers out of Brimley, sixty eighty eight Stevenson Eagles out of Stevenson, and fifty five forty seven the Talons out of Hale. So, um, as I mentioned, Alliance 1 did end up with the victory. So, 65-69, the Gladiators, out of Antonagin, uh, they came from having, they've never won an event in team history, ever. And this year, they captained two alliances to winning their districts. They won two districts as the captain. Once as the number one seed, once as the number three seed. So, like, huge congratulations uh, to 65-69. I can't wait to see them at States. Um, I love to see when these young teams uh, just manage to click it together and have an amazing season like this. Um, so they might be the new the new force up in the Upper Peninsula. Uh, for culture, Chairman's went to 141 Wobot out of Holland. This is their first Chairman's Award since 2015. Uh, EI went to 4392 The Deceivers out of Brimley, which gives them that double silver cling bling with their finalist medal. And our rookie all-star went to 7638 Northern Exposure Robotics Division out of Bessemer. So, uh, Sky, why don't you tell us a little bit about the top 10? That we're um, gonna move yeah, into. so now it is time for our countdown for the top 10 teams in Michigan from last, last week's competition voted on by you, the fun community in the FRC Top 25 polls. As with last week, these rankings are purely or pulled exclusively from the voters who self-identified as being from FIM. While we will say, we'll, bleh, while we won't say where any of these teams finished in the top overall uh, 25 rankings, we will discuss the top 10 vote getters in FIM itself. Um, so just to quickly run it down, in the first position we have 910, followed by 3707, 1684, 2075, 2337 in the fifth spot. In the number six spot, we have 3357. Then we have 2832, 1506, uh, 1076, and in the number 10 spot, uh, 226. So what are you guys' thoughts on this list? 
Uh, honestly, no surprise seeing 9, 10 at 1. They arguably, yes, arguably have the fastest swerve drive in Michigan. So uh, no surprise seeing them at the first spot. 3357 showed some great improvement from their first event to Forest Hills. So I'm glad to see them getting rec the recognition they deserve. And I'm also glad we got to see most of our concerns regarding 2075 put to rest. Uh, they proved that they can play up there with the big dogs at MSC. Yeah, they've been a bit of a wild card this season with spurring a lot of discussion. Um, I believe that 1684 is still a ways from their peak. They still have a few things to get uh, figured out, uh, but time is definitely uh, working against them at this point uh, with uh, states uh, on the doorstep. Uh, I'm not sure they are at the number three level for this week, but I am sure that they're working their butts off for states. Yeah, and then um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to agree, like, 910 deserves that number one spot. And um, y'all know I never say anything nice about 910 if I can help it. Um, so, uh, but uh, they, they, I watched their matches and they, they, while they, well, as somebody in chat said, while they don't have the dirtiest swerve in FIM, I do think they're the best swerve bot in FIM right now. Better than, which is so better than 3707, better than 2767. Um, right now. We'll see how that changes. That might change this week. But I think they are the best swerve bot in FIM. The way they filled up the Rockets, they're playing really well around defense. Um, super impressed with what they're doing. This extra event of practice is going to do them wonders. Um, they're coming into MSC hot. Same with 2337, who did amazing uh, on the cargo ship for that alliance. Like They're they're coming in hot, and they're uh, we'll see how they can do it. And uh, speaking of other top-tier teams, uh, our host Sky talked to 5460, uh, last week at the East Kentwin District, so uh, we've got a video from that. Hello everyone, Sky Lake here with First Updates Now, and I'm with Strike Zone, and uh, today we're going to be with talking with Josh, Parker, and Tyler about their kind of novel approach to how they're playing the game this year. So, Josh, can you take us away with kind of how you set things up this year with uh, Outreach? Uh yeah, so one of our main community outreach events is an off-season event that we like to host called Robocon. It's actually on the 50th anniversary of the moon landing this year, July 20th. Um, but at this event, we host an off-season event where last year we had 24 teams participate, and we have other uh, STEM activities for the community where they can learn about this. And this really helps to set up our season and help us further ourselves as a team and better ourselves. Uh, next, I'll talk about robot. So we have an arm and a sideways elevator because we saw that to be really helpful so we don't have to turn the robot around when scoring game pieces this year. Josh, you want to demonstrate? So we pick up the hatch out of the human player station with pneumatic linkage. Uh, then the arm will go up and pivot so we can score onto the uh, rocket. Same thing with cargo. Our climber is kind of unique. We had come up with it kind of at the end of the build season. Um, it's basically two legs, so so both of them actually by a winch on the on the bottom of the robot. Um, so it, when it pulls our robot up, we then drive on, get the back two wheels on, then we release this piston, um, which allows us to drive further on. And then when we release this piston, this piston actually so the robot does not tip backwards um, and then we can drive the rest of the way on thank you all right uh thank you so much to 5460 for taking the time to talk thank you so much thank you sky for um taking some time out of your busy schedule and uh interviewing them uh we wish them the best of luck at msc they're another one of those great robots we're looking for we'll probably be talking about them quite a bit tomorrow um so that's another team coming into MSC. I'm really excited to see. Uh, one thing Chet is bringing up that I want to amend an earlier statement. Uh, I, I forgot 1918 was a swerve bot as well. Uh, they they may have the slight edge over 910 coming into states. So I'll give them, I'll, I'll amend that statement. Uh, but I'll put 1918 above 910 uh, for swerve. Run again for now. We'll see how this weekend goes. And then... Um, I think it's probably about time for our giveaway. I would assume, if time, if Tyler's ready. Yes, now I'm ready. Giveaway. 
Sorry about that. <laughs> I, was, I, I realized I didn't give you much prep time. No, no, <laughs> I, that's okay. That's I don't need it. So, <laughs> so all right. So uh, we're gonna do the giveaway once again for the uh, fun mug from uh, Redfish Robotics. Like, go check it out at tinyurl forward slash uh, Redfish Robotics. And don't worry, PG. I'm just trying to scarf down my Taco Bell that my wife just brought me. So all good. Yes, we get it, Tyler. Your wife's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> She is. Um, so uh, with that said, uh, Finstein was the uh, keyword to type in. We're going to do the drawing for that. And the winner is going to be, once you know, I know how to scroll and do those things, uh, Matt underscore IWNL. Congratulations, subscriber. So lots of rigged emotes because we have clearly rigged it for a subscriber. Not all of our winners today have been subscribers, but Matt is, and we have rigged it for him. So congratulations, Matt. Uh, and make sure uh, that you, uh, that's not appropriate enough. Sorry. Um, yeah, that, I, I was just about yeah, to do let's, that. Let's, like, be, no. let's be GP on this stuff, guys. So, um, so uh, with that said, by the way, please make sure you uh, reach out to me with your uh, mailing address, first name, last name, all that fun stuff like that. So congratulations, and uh, thanks again to Redfish Robotics. Check them out, tinyurl forward slash Redfish Robotics. Thank you so much, Redfish. Uh, so we're going to stop it here and wrap the show up for tonight. Uh, thank you to everyone who's watched, sent us questions and comments, and supported the show. If you want more first robotics in your life and like what we do, all that we ask is uh, other, let others know about this show. And that this is the place to go for more FRC in their lives. If you got a few bucks to share, we appreciate it. But if not, we totally understand it and are delighted to have you on board. Be sure to click that little green follow button above and click the purple sub button to see if maybe you have a free Twitch Prime sub available. On behalf of myself, Freddie, Sky, and our producer, Tyler, I would like to thank you for tuning in and thank you to all of our moderators in chat. Uh, our next show tonight is Mouth of the South. But remember, we will be here at 8 o'clock tomorrow. The whole gang, that's me, that's Sky, Freddy, uh, both Knicks and Mike, all going to be here talking about the Eight MSC Championship, uh, Michigan State Championship, best event of the season. Uh, we'll be talking about it at 8 o'clock tomorrow. So be here, 8 o'clock tomorrow Eastern, because that's the time zone we are in. So, <laughs> and we, so we're looking forward to seeing it all there, and we hope you have a wonderful night. Bye. Bye. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.